what is going on, man? We back with another video, man. Hey, sure y'all fireworks already if y'all seen it, man. This is Burdock versus Omni, man. No cap, man. This is death battle, bro. Um, do y'all know anything about Dragon Ball Z? A little bit. A little bit. Okay, a little bit. Y'all know who Burdock is? Go ahead and introduce yourself. Let them know where they can find you at. Hi, I'm Asia. You can find me on my TikTok, high off Asia. Well, high off dot Asia. And my Instagram is underrated dot Asia one. Hello, everyone. My name is Jalissa. You can find me on YouTube at Jalissa's Journal or on Instagram at Jalissa Janine. Hey, go follow her. No cow. No more. Hey, y'all. My name is Lady Day. Y'all can find me on TikTok at Lady Day um beautifully outspoken underscore <laughs> okay i like that i like that it's like you do poetry or something you know what i'm saying i do okay I do. Hey, you might gotta hear it, you know what i'm saying hi i'm nikki you can find me on tiktok at strawberries underscore blueberries underscore okay the strawberries and blueberries you know what i'm saying what kind of video is this turning into i'm just playing i'm just messing with you <laughs> hey my name is jada my instagram is jada noel two a's two l's and my tiktok is jada osan with two m's bad who doing a fit check tonight what's up deck of cards it's a legend okay, deck of cards <laughs> okay play the spade yeah i got no i got work in the morning so i'm in my pajamas Ooh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, okay, yep. okay. <laughs> no cow. Hey, y'all ready? Let's get straight into this video, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that song, man. Let go. Yeah, yeah, the fat red card. Omni-Man versus Burduck, the ostracized Viltrumite and the Doomed Saiyan. He's Wiz and I'm Boomstick. And it's our job to analyze their weapons, armor, and skills to find out who would win a death battle. Okay, here we go. Omni-Man, Earth's once greatest hero. Alongside the Guardians of the Globe, he protected the world from all manner of threats. And then, in a single day, it all went horribly wrong. Why Omni-Man? How Omni-Man? Who Omni-Man? Who indeed? Champion of Earth, best-selling author J.K. Simmons, yet it was all a charade, with his murderous rampage only brought to a halt thanks to his own son. It all starts with his home planet, oh, Viltrum, son. which I hear is a totally lovely utopia. Through brutal mortal combat. With a K! Or, wait, no, that came later. Viltrumites are among the most powerful <laughs> beings in the universe, even more so after they purge the weaker members of their species. As a vanguard of the Viltrumite Empire, Omni-Man infiltrated Earth as Nolan Grayson, expected to prepare the planet for Imperial assimilation. Which should have been easy, since he's got your classic strongman superpowers and he's basically invulnerable, easily knocking around asteroids the size of Texas. He can Ooh. fly at unbelievable speeds, <laughs> soaring from Earth to the planet Thraxa in under one week. Dang, Thraxa is, okay. quote, a couple galaxies away, give or take. So a minimum of two galaxies. Beyond okay. the Milky Way's neighbor and so y'all, y'all wish I had that speed. Y'all better go, you know what I'm saying? Go, go quick. I would never be late for work, honey. For real. No. <laughs> no, for real. No excuse either. You know what I'm saying? They gonna be like, no way, no way. I don't care if you're sick. You gotta come. No cow. Andromeda is the lesser-known Triangulum Galaxy, which is over 2.7 million light-years away. Reaching it in under one week means Omni-Man must have flown over 142 million times faster than light. Oh, and Viltrumites can't breathe in space, so he held his breath the whole way. And it's not like he was in a rush. He was on a soul-searching trip, contemplating the significance of smashing his own son's face in. Dang, oh, it's all son. Yeah, this is why I'm never having kids. You're missing out. But according to another Viltrumite, Thetis, a bunch of other Viltrumites who actually were in a hurry flew to Viltrum across the Virgo supercluster in less than 24 hours. That's over 20 Ooh. billion times faster than light. You don't really need to run. You got no Virgos over here? Uh-uh. Oh, I've already seen it when they that's say Virgo. I've seen it. Hey, <laughs> I was like, um, that's my... Leo Gang, okay, I like the... Big okay. hey. I'm like Capricorn. 
Yeah, we're cool. Hey, that's what it do. Anyway, the older a Viltrumite gets, the slower they age. According to the Invincible Handbook, Nolan is over 2,000 years old. Hmm. And regardless of age, Viltrumites don't suffer muscle fatigue like humans do, so they rarely ever tire out. Seriously? What? He's got parenting oh, easy yeah. mode on, and he couldn't even handle what? that. I would have killed for that back when my daughter was born. <laughs> well, you would have to be a Viltrumite first. A Viltrumite's body contains smart atoms, which they subconsciously manipulate. This cellular structure can effectively recall certain states of being regardless of their present environment, reacting to changes at an atomic level to perform the impossible. Yeah, like surviving your intestines getting ripped out, or even more scary, ripping out your whole beard all at once! <laughs> Only a Viltrumite could pull off something that disturbing. Nolan is incredibly tough, but if he faces superior forces, his smart atoms can adjust to make him even stronger by comparison. This is why Viltrumites are considered in... Invincible. Most weapons in the universe can't even scratch a Viltrumite like him. Even a ship's cannon like this one can't take down a Viltrumite, and it obliterated a massive solar disk nearly half the size of a star. Speaking of planets, he's strong enough to shatter one by flying straight through it. A planet so big it has a whole ring around it. The Roche limit factor dictates the size a celestial body must be in order to disperse orbiting material as a ring. In short, an Earth-sized planet can't support such a ring meaning this mm. one must be much larger. And don't get me started on how the ring is actually made up of dead bodies because, uh, spoilers, just go read the comic. If Roche oh, isn't doing it for you, bodies? this planet uh, also supports five <laughs> moons in its orbit, and even the smallest is a perfect sphere, meaning its own gravity shaped it. At minimum, a moon like that must have a diameter of 600 kilometers, or 370 miles. <laughs> Comparing this to the planet's diameter, we can tell this world is nearly 14 times larger than Earth. Or it was before, you know, Blam. Now, Omni Man does have his weaknesses. Monsters like Rognars can pierce Viltrumite flesh, and he's extremely sensitive to a specific high pitch frequency, which can destabilize his body's equilibrium. But his real weakness turned out to be, you guessed it, fatherhood. Thanks to his ah. son, Mark, Nolan began to re examine his perspective and his place That's in the universe. He settled do. down <laughs> in a new place, got himself a new job, and even had a new kid with his new wife. Who's a bug? A bug? A bug. Lady! <laughs> <laughs> he banged a bug. Why? Omni Man? Ooh. How? Ew. Omni Man? Hey. Would you date would you date a uh, bug or a roach for a million dollars? Not no roach. You gotta Not kiss a, a, a million dollars. You gotta kiss that thing. You know. I think roaches is every black person's fear. I don't think Can nobody kissing no roach. Can we pick the type of bug? Can't pick the bug. Or we we'll said fly. Fly or roach. I'll take a fly. I'll take a fly. I'll take a fly. <laughs> I'll, that little they easier to, flies is easier to get rid of. Roaches is. Uh -huh. nice. You see them roaches, they be fast too. Boy, be, they be yeah. on crack. Them roaches be on crack, no cow. You Actually, know? I'll give me a roach. <laughs> what? I'm asleep. <laughs> Everyone deal. I like you. with parenting stress in their own way. When Nolan was lecturing to Mark about how insignificant people are, Mark wasn't the only one he was trying to convince, if you catch my drift. Nolan okay, Grayson's real mission life. isn't planetary conquest or saving the innocent. It's to discover if a violent man who can break the world can also be a good father. Godspeed, okay. Omni-Man. In the far reaches of the cosmos, laid a world with a people like no other, born and raised to do just one thing, fight. The Saiyans, Crap. a proud warrior people from the planet Vegeta, Yo. ruled by the uh, King Vegeta. Well, narcissist punch. Exactly. Their pride blinded them to the truth of their impending doom. But perhaps one Saiyan represented the best of them, Why even during their waiting glory days. Bardock! Ooh. He's cool, he's screwed, he's got a I bad attitude, Goku. and if he goes ape shit, you're totally oh, screwed. Oh, and, like. and guess what? Oh. He, the father <laughs> of Goku! Oh, wow, I never would have guessed. Oh, it's Goku dead. Oh, what a curveball. That's Goku dead? What? That's I mean, oh, okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. I know y'all gonna call him in the like, comment section. Y'all gonna say, you yeah, ain't never watched Dragon Ball Z. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I ain't know that. No cap. I ain't know that.
So what does that make Turles? Who? Ahem. Bardock was a cold-blooded killer, ruthlessly conquering planets in service to the Saiyan's true overseer, Lord Frieza. They didn't just okay. conquer planets, they wiped out every living thing, leaving Frieza uninhabited rocks to sell away. Bardock was an asshole. Well, it, until he wasn't. <laughs> Bardock's story has evolved over the years, with multiple iterations to draw from. Including one where he's a brilliant scientist. <laughs> but only one is considered officially canon. Bardock's demeanor began to shift when he met and eventually married fellow warrior Gine and had two sons, Raditz and Kakarot. No, Bardock didn't go totally soft. He was still a ruthless warrior. You know that iconic red headband of his? It's stained with the blood of his fallen friends. Hardcore! What? Bardock could fly, move faster than light, and was naturally adept in using his key as an explosive weapon. AKA shooting lasers from his hands! True to his brutal screw you nature, Bardock's moves are all about overwhelming power. His final spirit cannon is like a key powered bazooka. His rebellion hammer punch ignites enemies on contact, and his rebellion spear basically turns him into a supercharged battering ram. The guy has no chill. He will run you over, break your Dang. spine, light you on fire, and then move on to the next guy. All in a day's work, Savage. you're a Saiyan. Marriage didn't change that. While Bardock cared for Gine, in fact being one of few Saiyans of his time to actually have a romantic partner, he was still no family man. Like most Saiyans, he saw his sons as nothing more than future soldiers. Bardock oh, was a low-class warrior, so it was unlikely his kids would grow up to be anything more than battlefield fodder. But they would Dang, still possess the Saiyan's son? power, a transformation that was the key to their planetary devastation. Big Big <laughs> Under the light of a full moon, a Saiyan with a tail manifests the Uzaru. This great ape form increases Bardock's power tenfold, turning him into an unstoppable kaiju. Quick, someone call Yajirobe! While some Saiyans can maintain control over this berserker form, low-class warriors like Bardock don't receive the same level of training as those of higher birth. Prince okay. Vegeta's control is so precise he can okay, speak but, can change, go but Bardock cannot. Hell, it's questionable if he even remembers everything that happens when he goes full tilt gorilla. The Saiyan strategy is pretty much just monkey see, monkey smash. Despite being <laughs> low class, <laughs> Bardock's power level nearly matched that of King Vegeta, who could destroy multiple planets at once. At about this time, King Vegeta's power level was around 10,000. Yeah, we know power levels are kind of janky. Nobody can agree on what the number really means. Outside of his fight with gas, Bardock doesn't really show any high-end feats in canon but we can use power levels to compare him to other characters with similar levels to better understand his potential. Like when his son fought Prince Vegeta. What's the scouter say about his power level? It's over 8,000. Yeah, the dub changed it to fit Vegeta's lip flaps, but we only cover the cold hard truth, damn it. According to this movie pamphlet, <laughs> Goku's power level between his fight with Vegeta and his trip dynamic was 10,000. This lines up with that previous reading and puts him on par with Bardock. Goku's training during the trip eventually raised him to 90,000 upon up. arrival, but this gives us a clear window. Yeah, early in the trip, he had to dodge a bunch of incoming asteroids and blast his ship away from a star, which is impressive considering the speed involved. The planet Namek is outside Earth's quadrant of the universe, and it took his ship six days to make the journey. Traveling a quarter of the universe's diameter would put the ship over 9.5 trillion times the speed of light. And Goku would have had to keep up with that kind of speed to do all that other stuff. Makes sense given far weaker characters could reach the moon in a fraction of a second. Should be trivial enough for Bardock. All this speed and power meant when Bardock and his team assaulted the planet Serial, they went, Cheerio! Bardock ravaged the planet, annihilating its people, until he found two survivors, a mother and her child. Some may call it weakness, others a moment of clarity, but Bardock was suddenly reminded of his wife and recently born son. He chose to spare the two, and even pushed himself far past his limits to protect them from his own Frieza Force allies, who taunted that Frieza had dire plans for the Saiyan's future. This moment changed Bardock, making him more appreciative of his family and cautious of Frieza. Okay. When all the Saiyans were called okay, back to planet Vegeta anyway. for mysterious reasons, <laughs> he had a hunch something was up. So before his final stand, smashing through hundreds of soldiers before coming face to face with the tyrant, he sent his youngest kid away for protection. A choice oh. that allowed his son to thrive. I respect and it. hey, that's yeah. what good parents do. A choice that would have a greater significance than Bardock could ever imagine. And then Dildo Dickhead blew him all up and he died. <laughs> <laughs> or did he? <laughs> hey, Joe.
shout out to everyone who believed in us during our recent crowdfunding. Okay. We just gonna afford it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it's time for a death. I I now we gotta see. Like who y'all going for? Burdock or Omni Man? Okay, I was a little confused about the speed, but it seemed like Omni Man is faster because it took uh, other Brody six days to make it to his destination, and they say he can travel as fast as a couple galaxies or something, right? Like you know. Mm -hmm. And then he seemed invincible, so I I gotta put my money on Omni Man just because yeah. if he don't got that high frequency or his son in his pocket, then you know. I bet. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, I'm gonna I'm gonna I ain't naughty. Uh, are you able to cut your hand in a way or something like this? Oh, my bad. Sorry. I'm gonna rock with Bird Off. Because at the end of the day, it comes to scrap. You know what I'm saying? He do. That's what they make. He do. I get okay. that. I mean, I'm going with Burdock because I like Dragon Ball Z. I don't care, man. <laughs> I don't care. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> But I love Jack. Man, he go crazy though. Yeah, Omni Man the minute. He one of them young. If he do that to his own son, <laughs> you think he won't destroy him? But everybody got a weakness though. Hey, we about to see though. No! She had it felt for this. Look at that dance. Come on now. He take. He coming for a body. Bird off put them hands on you to left and right. <laughs> okay. That's bird, right? Yo, look Great. at that boy. Okay. Another gross bug planet. Boy, you from the back? Anyone yeah. <laughs> <to come here. laughs> Don't underestimate me. <laughs> Oh, I'm glad. Put the hands on it. Oh, I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad I'm glad i the only thing that's saving Omni Man right now is that he's a sensible dog. Oh, you can tell Bird I'll be fighting. Like, it don't look like dude be fighting too much. Go ahead, hold He took are, a little time off to be a dad. Give him, give him a break. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What? That is chest pumping. About to eight pounds. Okay, then. Oh, Am I supposed to be impressed? Are you about to fight Oh. Oh, oh my God. He's not letting up on him. Omni Man, you ain't better. I told y'all. I told y'all. It came down to five. Ooh. Don't worry, y'all. She's gonna get out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Was that the tail? Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. He's just messing with his own tail. That's crazy. I'm talking about nah, Omni Man yeah. not gonna win this, bro. I'm not playing. No, come on, Burdock. My son's. Let me guess. He's gonna yeah, turn yellow. I won't let yeah, you look take from my Don't play with him. Yeah. Don't play with him. Oh, God. Uh-uh. Stop playing with him. Okay, but he gotta keep upgrading to still do a little bit of damage. Look, nah, Omni Man was getting tore up in that. Omni Man was getting put out the train. But why can't he? He's gonna tell you why his name is Omni Man. Your time is 
Oh, he cracked every bone in his body. Yo, no. Dang, hold on. You gonna go out like that? No way. No yeah. way. No way you went out like that, my no boy. No way. No way, my boy. Yeah. I don't See, think if it's I put over, money on it, it no, mad as hell. Go. If it's not over, that means Omni Man gonna lose. <laughs> oh, oh, it's over. Go it's over. I'm we had money on this, y'all would lose. Oh my god. What? And I love Dragon Ball Z. I had to go with what felt right. You feel me? At the end of the day, I think I had too much faith in him. I I think I had too much faith. At the end of the day, they gon' eat. That's all I'm gonna say. Why did he say that at the end though? He was like, fuck. <laughs> Why did he say that at the end though? Some That's crazy. Picking fights with guys in caves. Pitting sand against Viltrumite is fascinating. Among the many similarities, five specific categories stand out. Starting with speed. Bardock huh? is much faster Y'all given his power it. level match okay. Goku right. dodging asteroids at 9.5 trillion times light speed, much higher than the Viltrumite's fastest speed. Add on the 50 times multiplier from Super Saiyan and it's a huge difference. Right, Bardock clearly has the speed advantage, but strength Whoa. and durability are another story. Though it doesn't seem like it at first, Bardock scales to King Veggie, who wrecked three <laughs> planets at once and Omni-Man only smashed one. But given how big that one planet was, the numbers are actually pretty similar. Until we factor in the Super Saiyan boost, right? Well, there's a catch. A major plot point in Invincible involves the coalition of planets admitting that their weapons cannot hurt Viltrumites. So, when their ship's cannon obliterated this gigantic solar disk, it highlighted just how tough the Viltrumites really are. This disk completely blocked the sunlight and heat between a planet and its star. And this is no ordinary planet. Its size and density are so high that its inhabitants are as strong as Viltrumites just due to living in its natural gravity. Okay. To fully block the light to such a planet and remain in consistent orbit, the disk would need to be positioned at its L1 point, the spot that creates an uninterrupted view between sun and satellite, and the disk itself must be about half the diameter of the star in question. This means the scaling of the disk puts it at three septillion tons. That's 24 zeros! Which makes Omni-Man over 11,000 times stronger than base okay. Bardock. Not so even the stronger. Great Ape or Super Saiyan forms could make up that difference. Dang, okay. So strength goes to Nolan. Still, numbers aren't everything. As far as versatility and combat goes, neither had one distinct advantage that could win outright. Omni-Man survives in space for much longer, but Bardock barely squeaks out the edge here thanks to his ranged versatility with key attacks and, of course, Super Saiyan. Stamina okay, let's address the total. Super Saiyan Bardock. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's perfectly fair to question whether or not the form should be in this comparison at all. However, even with the form included, Nolan still takes this, especially when it comes to our last two categories, experience, and stamina. Yep, Omni-Man's been around a lot longer than Bardock, over 2,000 years, and even Ooh, with Super Saiyan, no Bardock's no master of the form. And without that mastery, the form drains the user's energies at an increased rate. Which brings us to what may be Omni-Man's most surprising advantage. Those weird smart atoms. Saiyans like Bardock can Hello? fight for days on end, <laughs> but only for so long. Bardock possesses a limited pool of ki, which only depletes faster when using super forms like the Great Ape. In okay. contrast, Omni-Man's biology prevents him from tiring in most cases, letting him oh, travel across okay. whole galaxies for weeks non-stop, and his smart sense, atoms man. adjust to counter whatever physical strain he's subjected to. Bardock's crazy speed and power made him a real challenge. But Nolan's strength, experience, and sheer endurance presented an unstoppable and unshakable force that would inevitably land the killing blow. When push came to shove, Omni-Man raised the bar, duck. The winner is <laughs> Omni-Man. Next time on Death Battle. Subscribe. Joker. What? Oh, I gotta come back. Girl, no. Okay. 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 That's JoJo's Bizarre Adventure. Okay, okay. Bad. Got you, got you. 
Ben, there we got it. We did lose one person. But hey, what do y'all think about that video, though? And it was cool. It was cool. I'm I'm kind of salty that he lost because you feel me, but I'm salty. I feel like Bernard got messed, but hey, that's just me. yeah. I really feel like that when you feel me, best. Okay. I only know what a W feel like. Go Omni Man. Oh. <laughs> I was going for Omni Man at first too, but I was like, sometimes you know, the underdog might win. You feel me? Who you was going for, Asia? <laughs> Omni Man or oh, Fred. <laughs> the fact that they said that he was invincible, I already knew that. So he don't got no way. Like they no be ain't no beating him. Like mm. at the end of the day, Burdock was well is human or whatever the fuck he is with all that power and stuff. That's nothing. That's Girl. nothing to Omni Man. In my opinion, the only reason Omni Man won was because he was invincible. Had he not had that power right there, I feel like he would have got beat. That's just my opinion. But that's, yeah, but, that's like saying but, he only won because he's superior. That's why he won. <laughs> he was getting fucked up in the beginning. <laughs> he was. But uh, since he snapped uh, that tool, I knew it was over. Out. You feel me? He had to dance around, see what he was working with. And Brody got knocked into the past. Omni Man ain't never get knocked into the past. So what you think about that, What you think? What you think? What you think about that video? Oh, it was fun to watch, but um, I knew Omni was going to win. Mm -hmm. I think you said Burdock. I'm just playing. I'm just playing. No, no, no. I didn't say. <laughs> I didn't say nothing. I wanted to see how how it went. Oh, but I was. Oh, um, see, she said to the last, so she didn't need to see. I see. I don't even know if that count. You feel me? Because you got to <laughs> no, say what I you go. When she was explaining everything about the speed and everything, I was agreeing with it. Like, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Got you. Got you. But hey, y'all go follow these beautiful ladies. Thank y'all so much for coming out, man. Y'all hit that like, hit that song, man. We all gang.